Hello guys, Chris here and welcome back to another Sunday video. In this one, my friends, I'm going to be testing the GeForce GTX 770 in 2022. And by the way, if you've seen my post on Instagram, um, I was supposed to test the R9 290. Yeah, I bought that one, this one and the 760 and um, it started having artifacts in the middle of recording. So it's actually quite late today, it's 10 p.m. already and I'm making a Sunday video. But anyways, this is a Phantom Gainward, actually Gainward Phantom GTX 770 and it might look familiar for some of you because it's exactly the same cooler, at least um, design-wise, as my GTX 780 Ti. So yeah, it's, it's a Phantom because I, I guess you can't see the fans, so the fans are ghosts, no? <laughs> also, for those of you that don't know, you can just do this and uh, take the fan out and clean it. It's as easy as that, guys. This is a very efficient design, actually. All right, let's go over the specs real quick. This is a 2 gigabyte GDDR5 edition of the GTX 770. There are also 4 gig models. It has 1,536 CUDA cores. It consumes... 230 watts of power so it actually requires a 6-pin and an 8-pin power connector these are the ports by the way if you're interesting if you're interested and it's released back in 2013 for 399 us dollars which was actually the same as the r9 290 back there but that one was much more powerful yeah guys i'm a bit mad today because i really wanted to test that card over there let's see what the gtx 770 can do in 2022 shall we and it's desktop time geforce gtx 770 showing up that in msi after burner using the latest NVIDIA drivers available for it, 472.98. I'm not manually overclocking it, as you can see right here, uh, but this is a factory OC'd model. You can check out all of its specs in Tech Power Up GPU Z, 2GB GDDR5, as I told you, and uh, it supports DirectX 12 still, but some games won't really launch, like uh, Elden Ring, for example. And over on the left, we're pairing it with a Ryzen 9 5900X and 32 gigabytes of RAM, just to avoid any CPU bottlenecks in this video so we can extract every single drop of that GTX 770. Let's get into the first game, shall we? Again, double shall we? And guys, for the first game, we got Dying Light 2. So let's go over the settings first. We're playing at the 1080p resolution using FSR on quality, and we're using the low settings here. Not the complete lowest settings. I actually set the emulator occlusion to low instead of off, and I set the textures in the config files to low because we got a 2 gigabyte card, of course. And apparently it is actually playable like this. Look at this. We're getting like 30s and 40s. Not like awesome. Honestly, guys, I would love to have seen a bit more FPS, especially after testing the R9290 for a little bit. It was actually getting like uh, 60 plus, I think, on medium settings before it started going to hell. Uh, it, it works pretty well in this game. <laughs> Alright, this is exactly what I wanted. We are in a much better and more beautiful place. And uh, the weather is much better as well. Ah, th yes, I am glad I died there. Look, th look at that, by the way. It's dropping into the lower 30s at times. Not too bad. It is... God damn it, man. <laughs> Should we just parachute from here? Yes, this is actually gorgeous, guys. The game, even on these settings, looks pretty good. We got the power back. We got... Uh, it's because of me, dude. I did that. It's not a miracle. Whoa, okay. <laughs> it's so cool to have this parachute, guys. It's actually really nice. And this is also the more intensive city area. I'm dead. We gotta stop this. <laughs> the game is playable. Cyberbug 2077 is next. We're playing it at the 1080p res using low settings here and quality FSR. And look at that. This is actually super playable now. I mean, it doesn't look very impressive once again because it's FSR quality. I actually tried it on ultra quality first and it was dropping from 30. So I decided to settle for quality here. But honestly, for such an old card, to be able to play Cyberbug, it's a miracle almost. <laughs> and all because of AMD's FSR. Oh my, okay. Oh, we're approaching the very intensive street. That's what's happening here. That's why our FPS are dropping like crazy. It went down into like 31, I think. 32 there. 
Wow, this is super intensive, guys. It's, it's Cyberpunk after all. Well, I guess if you really, really want to play Cyberpunk 2077, I'm uh, Cyberbug. I didn't do anything. I did not do anything. What are you doing? Why are you shooting me? God damn it. I'm just seeing the FP. Actually, you just reminded me. Let's kill Bob. Goodbye, Bob. He's clipping into the car, isn't he? Oh my god. <laughs> there it goes, Bob. That's exactly what he deserved. <laughs> Playable experience here doesn't drop from 30. If you want a more stable experience, you should um, lock your FPS to 30. Maybe play with a controller as well. And uh, you should be fine here. Yeah, not too bad. Next up is CSGO. This is way more adequate for the GTX 770. 1080p resolution, low settings with high textures. Okay, so we got five minutes to go. And it's like, it's 1.15 a.m. at this point, guys. I'm gonna try my best here. What, Jim? Don't you dare. Don't you dare. All right, don't you just... We're gonna do this. Come on, all right, there we go. Wavy is down. Next is gonna be that one. All right, Dino said I. <laughs> nice name. Okay, okay, okay. We got guys. This is perfectly playable. Absolutely, 100%. A smooth and competitive experience. And I got killed by Dino Serral. I don't even care. I I am happy with that. All right, there we go. Also. They don't have very high scores, so we might be able to, in four minutes, get to ter ter first place. Or third. Third would be nice. I, w I don't really... Ah! I don't really mind third place here. Since we... Damn, that was a good shot. <laughs> Since we joined later. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Just, just fight me, God. Not like that. Not like that. You, you can't win. We, you, you can't win. Come on, what did I say? You can't steal my kills either, bot Adrian. Come on. No, not from behind, man. I saw you dying in front of me, and then he spawned behind me. This is what I hate about spawns in CSGO, man. These days, it's just way too bad. Come on. Come on. Yep. Nice. One thing about CSGO is that you don't really want to max your GPU out. I think if we locked the FPS to like 250 or 240, uh, we would probably get a little bit less input lag. Anyways, guys, 33 kills in five minutes. We would have gotten like 66 kills total, and that would be more than Dinosaur. How did you win? Anyways, we would be first place for sure, right? <laughs> Red Dead Redemption 2 is next, 1080p resolution using ultra textures and the rest of the settings are set to the default low settings or lowest settings in uh, this quality preset level bar. And we're getting 30s, all right, that's expected a little bit. The frame time graph might not be completely smooth in this one, by the way, because uh, the VRAM is totally maxed out right now. Uh, so yeah, we're seeing a few frame time spikes, but they're not really game breaking, I think. I, what am what am I hearing? Oh boy, okay, I think I am running over things. I can't see like uh, Come on Roach 29 FPS there. So I was actually expecting it to stay at 30 plus all of the time Oh, I'm sorry. I'm actually I'm gonna take your horse. I hope you don't mind. All right. It's faster, maybe. You know what? With a little bit of an overclock in this card, you can actually achieve those 30 plus all of the time. As you can see here in the city area, it's not really as intensive. Uh, even with all of the lights at night, some people say it's more intensive, but I found it to be exactly the same as daytime. But you might want to drop the, the resolution, guys, to like 900p to achieve 30 plus all of the time. I think the, the consoles actually play it at 900p, no? I don't know. That's, that's a little bit of a bug there. Look at that. <laughs> Time to get wrecked in Valorant 1080p high settings and uh, let's do this. Actually, let's not do this. Let's get killed every time. I missed everything. How am I so bad in this game? Nice. Okay, never mind. Maybe we can do this. Maybe I'm, I'm feeling it now. Feeling it. It's all nice. It's all good. Go up here. All right. What? How was that a headshot? The game on my side now. Look at this. Another headshot there. Can I get some kills, please? Yes, thank you. Thank you. This is going way better than I expected. 
<laughs> never mind, never mind. Uh, I had my moment of glory there, and now it's it's all downhill from here, guys. No, oh. God, ah! almost got the double there, so it counts for something, right? Ah, ha, ha, ha. Oh my God! Please don't do this to me, not from behind. But I, I totally forgot that we are here to see the FPS, guys. And the FPS are actually really damn good and kind of impressive. It's high settings at 1080p, high refresh rate experience. Why? I hate you, Vicent. Why are you trying so hard? Why? And it's stutter night time to make me even more mad because it will stutter all over the place. 1080p resolution, these settings, it's in performance mode as well and uh, I'm not using the lowest settings possible like the competitive settings because, um, well, otherwise the trees would look like crap. Literally. So this is Tilted Towers right now. We're getting 300... Jesus Christ, that's a ton of FPS actually. Oh boy, this is insanely good. Hello, buddy. Can I kill you? Please. Come over here. Nice. Thank you very much, dangling keys. There's one here. Nice. You know what? This is actually really good. You know, and it's not really that stuttery. It is still stuttery, but it's not too bad. It's not terrible, basically. Come on. Nice. Another one down. I'm impressed because I did not expect this. I thought it would be a really bad experience here in Stutter Night. Uh, I mean Fortnite. I can call it Fortnite now. She has a shotgun. She's right here. We got her. Noise. How am I doing this? What the hell are you doing here? Can I kill you? No. Oh. Oh. All right. It's on. It's on. Nice. <laughs> Dead people. Oh, I see one. Nice. All right. Nice. Okay. 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 Oh, 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 there is another one shooting at us. Hello, buddy. How's it going? I am not gonna run you over, unfortunately. I did it. I did it. <laughs> nice, that was really easy. <laughs> I wonder if all of them are bots. We're even testing the tornado. This is beautiful now. Oh, yes. This doesn't feel safe whatsoever. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> He's so scared. He built an entire castle and uh, got out of it to, to run away from me. Look at that. Stop it. <laughs> Why don't you fight people? All right, so there's one there. Thank you. And there's only one left, the guy in that huge castle. So, um, will you help me, Dino Jack? Let's see. I tried. <laughs> oh, he's in the other one. Oh, I actually got the guy in the castle. Oh my god. This was my best game of Fortnite ever. How did I do this? Forza Horizon 5. We're playing at 1080p using medium settings. This is the medium settings preset. And uh, it seems like it is quite playable. Look at this. If you're looking for a locked 30 frames per second, this might be able to provide just that. Um, also, keep in mind that races are more intensive than just driving around and you can also overclock the card a little bit and that might actually put you at 30 plus at all times. I'm not testing it in the city today because I will make a separate video in the city, yes, but this is actually super similar to the FPS that I get in the city usually, so um, if it doesn't drop from 30, I think you're good. Also, medium settings do look way better than low settings and very low settings in this game, so I really recommend you to use medium, even if you need to drop the resolution to like 900p, I think it's worth it. And if you can play with the controller, even better. Let's just see all of the cars again, because that's demanding. And does it drop? Not really dropping, guys. This is nice. Yeah. Pretty stable and decent. 
I like it. Call of Duty Warzone is next. We're playing at 720p resolution using the low settings here because, well, 2 gigabytes of VRAM. I guess in Warzone you should definitely aim for those 60 FPS and uh, it just barely gets that here on average probably. There's a guy there. Wait a second. Oh my god. Actually, I'm playing quads here, which is not good whatsoever. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, wait a second. Come on. Nice, I downed one. Where are his friends? Uh, we, we need to be careful here. He just gave up on life. That's great. I see another one here. Come on. Nice, another one down. Okay, we're doing this actually. Not too bad. Hey. Oh, look, it, it seems like they actually fixed the water issues in this game. Whenever you approached water, it would drop immensely, but may maybe not actually. Maybe it was just th this water isn't intensive, but this one... Oh boy, what the hell? <laughs> no, no, they're watching me from behind. Okay, wait a second. Where? There he is. There's the bastard. We got him. Good stuff. I think people are coming after me, so I'm just going to throw an airstrike here. <laughs> Hopefully I'm not going to die. Sometimes I do while doing these things. Whoa, he's here. Okay. How did it not hit him, the airstrike? Gosh, are you serious? Where is he? Where did he go? There. Come on. No. 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 There are two of them. At least. Oh, man. Oh, I just remember we got a peeler here, guys. Let's go. Come on. Show yourself. I'm, I'm done with this. I am going to push this guy. Okay, he's down. Oh, come on. Of course he has friends. Uh, at least we got him. PUBG's next 1080p resolution using 100% render scaling and these settings. Textures are set to very low because, well, 2 gigabytes of VRAM. Oh boy, while dropping, things become extremely intensive because we're rendering all of the trees at once. Uh, but once we are down there, it should be smoother. It actually is pretty damn smooth. Look at the frame time graph. We don't really see any spikes here in this game, which is amazing. Sometimes the game is broken, but it seems like uh, in this new season, it isn't. Look at that VRAM utilization, by the way, 1.8 gigabytes almost, and it's creeping up a little bit sometimes. So I really recommend the very low textures with two gig cards, guys, because otherwise it will be a stuttery mess. And this is quite smooth. I haven't seen a single frame time spike yet. Look at that. It's so damn good, guys. And of course, and of course, those 69 FPS on average, those are just amazing. Come on. Oh my gosh. All right. Yeah, the recoil here is insane. Uh, I think that's a bot, though. He just turned his back on me. So maybe we can do this. Yes. I mean, can it get more perfect than that? We're getting 69 on average here, guys. That's that's amazing. A round of applause for the GTX 770 here in PUBG. This isn't really the newest title, but uh, it has been uh, optimized throughout the years. Actually, when it came out, it was way more intensive. So it's good to see that the 770 is doing such a good job here. Yep, there he is. There are still a couple more people around here. There's one guy. All right, we got him. Oh, no, no, oh! What is the, oh my God, dude. What kind of FPS are these? So we're playing at 1080p resolution in GTA 5, of course, using the like high to very high settings. I can't really increase anything else because otherwise we will be out of VRAM and we'll start stuttering. Uh, but these are the settings right here. High to very high, advanced settings all turned off. And look at this. What the actual hell? I, I wasn't expecting this. I think this is better than the 1050 Ti in this game. Let's get out of here, visit our boy. Come on, okay, yes. This is gonna be the, the third time that we're visiting Jack this week. He's gonna be really great. Maybe he's actually tired of seeing us this week. <laughs> I'm not sure, but hey, let's let's do it. No, shut up, Michael. You're, you're always swearing, this guy. Yeah, this is super smooth, guys. Even though we are creeping into the 2 gigabyte VRAM limitation, um, this is super, super solid. It doesn't stutter whatsoever. You don't really reach the engine limits either, so this is a perfect experience, basically. Even with a high refresh rate monitor, yeah. it's gonna be great. Okay. 
Get out, people. Come on. All right, so the cops aren't after us yet. This is fine. This is fine. Oh, boy. Okay. I'm trying not to hit people, but sometimes it's impossible because people want to be hit. Like that guy, he didn't move. Hello, kind lady. Do you want to see some bouncing? <laughs> Anyways, this is the most intensive area in the entire game. Or areas like these are the most intensive areas in the entire game because of the grass. Hello, Rick, how's it going? That's the, the bunny there. And hello, dear Jack, how's it going, boy? I want to see if I get out of the car, if he will start coming towards us to try to kill me because... Uh, sometimes he does that. Oh, you know what? Maybe this is why he's always running away from us. Because he, he doesn't want to eat me. But he's hungry. So we must find him a bob to eat. Well, at least we saw him, right? Damn it! Okay. Uh, bushes dropping into the 60s. But not dropping from 60. And we got 69 FPS. 1% lows there for a second. I'm so sorry, Rex. Rex. He's, he's okay. Bob, don't zigzag like crazy. <laughs> it's all your fault, Bob. Apex Legends is up next, and we're playing it at 1080p using low settings with very low textures. So this is not very good, because Apex Legends doesn't really like old GPUs. But I didn't think the 770 was that old, but apparently it is. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta put in my mind that the 700 series is already nine years old. I just, I can't really believe it, but yes, this is where we are in the world right now. So this is the most intensive area in the entire map right here. It's super broken, basically, and it, it drops like crazy. You can see the frame time graph is totally insane. Outside of here, however, it should be somewhat smooth, I think. Yeah, look at that. 50s, 60s at times. Again, not really competitive, but if you really must be competitive in this game uh, you can always play at the 720p resolution and get way more fps Ooh, okay. this is bad now <laughs> let's just go away from here shall we oh boy oh boy no no i don't want this so i'll say it's definitely playable but uh, you you might want to lower the resolution to like 720p or so that's gonna be way better Oh my god, I missed everything! Oh, no, 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 no! Ultimate! Let's go! No, you bastards! Get over here! No, don't get over here, actually! Oh boy, everything is exploding now! Yes, okay. <laughs> Drops into the lower 30s during extreme action scenarios like that one. And we're playing Battlefield 5 at 1080p using low settings. And let me tell you guys, it runs really, really well. Basically, it's always above 60 frames per second here in Battlefield 5, which is insanely good. By the way, you can't really play Battlefield 2042, but the game is dead anyway, so might as well play the older ones, I guess. <laughs> oh boy, oh, that's not what I wanted. I wanted the bazooka. You know what? Let's go with the sniper rifle, because I have a ton of trouble spotting people in this game. I'm not sure if it is because I'm playing at... 1080p on a 4k monitor oh, there were a ton of them there i think the main issue is the taa anti-aliasing which well you can't really disable at least not inside of the game and maybe in the config files it's possible hello there how are you going nice oh come on all right a few stutters sometimes but it is completely playable can you please move a little bit to the left god damn it man i could have killed so many more people there but the guy just didn't move wait i can also go here oh but this is totally exposed Ooh, look at that fire oh boy right we did <laughs> damn it okay i'm fine i'm fi what the hell is happening what are you doing oh boy things are exploding around us we're screwed guys oh boy we are screwed no! No, boy! Explosions and everything! What is shooting at me? Jesus! <laughs> let's go, let's go! Oh boy, I'm not dead yet! I'm 1 HP! I am 1 HP! Yes, we made it! Jesus Christ! 
All right, guys, that's it for Battlefield 5. 77 FPS average, 57 1% lows. Totally smooth and playable experience here. And it's everyone's favorite blocky game. It's Minecraft 1080p resolution using the like high settings here. Take a look. We're also using some shaders. Shielders vibrant on high. The FPS are pretty damn good for Minecraft with shaders. It stutters, yes, that's because it has to load the chunks and everything, but if you're playing like survival mode, it won't really stutter as much. And even here, which is a pretty intensive area, it, it barely drops from 60. Sometimes it does, yeah, 55 there. Not too bad considering that the jungle areas are pretty much the most intensive areas in the entire game. Wow, look at this, oh my god! Oh my god, that, that is looking insanely good. Holy crap, dude, I have not come across these uh, yet, you know. Damn, this is gorgeous, guys. Minecraft, one of the most gorgeous games that we tested today. <laughs> yeah, these bamboo things are super intensive. Look at that. Oh boy. Okay, so in survival, you're not really going to run around like this. Obviously, or fly around, actually. Um, but if you come across a forest area with bamboo, damn, you're a little bit screwed, guys. And finally, for the last game, we got Ark Survival Evolved at 1080p using low settings. This is the preset, so the anti-aliasing is actually set to epic, but AA is not really intensive in this game. I'm going to disable Light Bloom because I completely hate it in this game. It's a little bit obnoxious. This looks super noisy for some reason. Look at that. It looks pretty bad, actually, and it's stuttering quite a bit as well. I mean, that's probably because of the Unreal Engine. It tends to stutter in all of the games, uh, aside from PUBG. They did some magic there. Anyways, as you can see, it drops into the 40s around here. This is not like the extremely low memory mode or anything. It's just a normal game. So if you wanted more FPS and still play at the 1080p resolution, you could still have it by playing with the other modes. Uh, but hey, yeah, this is playable for Ark Survival Evolved. Now let's get to the real deal in this game. Where is the poop? Where does the poop come from even? I, I, I don't see it. <laughs> this is so interesting. Pick up. I can pick that up. All right. Oh, I have some poop in my in my backpack or inventory. Look at this. Ah, yes. Perfect stuff. I love the sound it makes as well. Look at that. Oh, oh, where is it? <laughs> Oh man. <laughs> it is conclusion time. Should you buy a GTX 770 in 2022? Maybe. Now, yes, it does consume a heck of a lot of power at 230 watts. Yes, it doesn't support the latest drivers anymore, unfortunately. Yes, it can't play the latest and greatest games, like it doesn't even launch, for example, Elden Ring, Battlefield 2042, although that doesn't really matter, honestly. <laughs> Assassin's Creed Valhalla as well, for example. I really wanted to test this card in that game, but it didn't launch. So you will definitely encounter more and more issues as time goes on, uh, try, if you try to play the latest games, of course. But if all you want is to play esports titles, and um, maybe older games like GTA 5 run really well on this. Even like The Witcher 3, for example, which I haven't tested today, but it will also run really well on a 770. Well, you can do it with a card like this. So I think for 50 bucks or lower, it's actually very worth it. And that's been it, my friends. Thank you very much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you did. And I will catch you in the next one very soon, as always. Love you all. Bye-bye.